All right, good morning, everybody. I'm just getting myself finally set up here for um, our presentation this morning, and I appreciate your uh, your time. And um, apologize for the lateness. I'm involved in a committee right now that uh, same issue as last week. We just had another meeting this morning, and apparently just trying to do too many things in too little time. But I uh, wanted to bring you a little presentation this morning that you may or may not be uh, subscribing to right now, and that's um, we're going to focus around utilizing your Fab Plus program. So if you've been attending your sales meetings, paying any attention at all around your office, you know that this is a hot topic. It's that time of year. We've done this for years, and um, I just wanted to focus on it a little bit to uh, give you an idea that this is something that I hope you use on a daily basis. Uh, or at least weekly as your year goes on. One of the things I'd like to draw to your attention is that we have uh, just left a board meeting where we're discussing the way we're branding the agents in the multi-list and where those names appear. And so if you look at this and say, you know, this is probably not something for me, I want to tell you the topic that we just finished discussing that ran a little long is we made an adjustment in Paragon to move the name of the agent, the listing agent, from the bottom to the top of the comments. This happened about a year ago for you. As many agents, it's rather seamless. You may not have noticed it, but there's a, um, a section called syndicated remarks. Uh, this was done primarily, so if you're a, um, a listing agent, it's an area that can't be cut off by certain agents that were creating websites uh, maybe not necessarily in our area, but where they were eliminating the remarks at the bottom. They were able to mask that area, and so you weren't getting any credit at all as a listing agent. Don't even think that was fair. You're the provider of the information, and how these other websites choose to display and use that information, well, we don't have a lot of control, especially when you send it out through an IDX feed to an agent that may have built their own site and has their own tech support people where they have a lot more latitude. Uh, your information is going out to hundreds of sites, and we wanted to make sure that your information was there. So this, for me, is like so many things in real estate. It's an issue of control. And so I'm bringing to you some ideas how to control you what you can how you? when you hit the marketplace. Good. And Good. so this is uh, one of those opportunities. Yeah. So... Um, that's what we're going to focus on today. Would have that? Would it be Dwayne? To unmute your line, press star six or pound six. You've worked hard to get that listing. We want you being prominently displayed. And uh, like I said, that is our goal and our issue. So we're taking care of that one for you uh, here within the NRT by creating this Fab Plus program. So um, let me give you an idea or two how you can use this first. You're looking at it um, on my screen. First, right now you get to save money on it. What a great idea. So this is that window of the year where you get it uh, substantially reduced. Probably, uh, I think it comes out to half price. And it's a, quite a value beyond that. But put it in, in reference to so many things that you would have done in the past. If you're looking at $175, this gives you 24-7 exposure on the most traffic sites on the Internet. Um, ever since they've gone to phone apps, we know that Zillow and Trulia have blown up and became the dominant player. Uh, Realtor.com is right there with them. And so they're getting all the views. If you want to be a listing agent, I'll let Scott's comments uh, in the uh, PowerPoint for your sales meeting this week. It's a no-brainer for him. Scott Palmer likes it uh, and has subscribed to it for years. This is a man that doesn't have a website, works with a flip phone, but sees the value in this program. For him, it's a no-brainer. I, I see it exactly the same way. If you were going to put any money into marketing this year, what would a $175 do for you? Uh, it might sponsor T-shirts for a baseball team. It might buy you uh, a quarter page in a real estate book that goes out once a month, and it's going to put it out for that one month for you to a market that we know is declining. It'll buy a classified ad in the uh, Patriot News. It might buy you four inches. Uh, so you get a two-by-two-inch ad that ran one time in one day 
throughout the year. This is a 24-7, 365 program. So it's, it's the no-brainer when it comes to a value. But how can that make you win listings so, um, or help you win listings? So I know my friends on the uh, relocation team have caught my act recently and uh, know some of my techniques and some of the things I'm recommending and proposing that you start to incorporate into your uh, marketing presentations. Uh, how about how do you appear when you're on Zillow? Uh, here's one of my listings that's active right now. And um, it has me branded right along with my listing, even in this map search area. Uh, because I searched for this particular property, it's bringing it up in the map, and it's bringing my information up here on the right. Now, this is placement that you can get a couple of different ways. But I guarantee you, you aren't going to get it for a year on Zillow for $175. So you're not going to get it on multiple sites for a year for $175. So there's your value speech. But um, I'm coming out to your home tonight, and I want to win your listing. The question that I get asked all the time, what will you do to market my home? And I don't know what your response looks like. But um, I know what mine looks like, and I'm willing to share that with you right now. So um, naturally, it takes place on an iPad. And I'm working within um, Keynote on my iPad. Now, you can see that I built this presentation in July of 2011. And uh, I haven't updated our web stats in this particular slide because I don't spend much time on it. Bottom line, the, a lot of the numbers and detail really haven't varied that much. And so I would recommend if you're going to have a, an electronic presentation, keep it simple. And mine is nothing more than a series of screenshots. But the first one is the local, the best leads are coming to me through our Jack Gone system. They're the most local searches. They have the most accurate and reliable information. And... Um, after that, we know that people are being referred to our uh, website from, as it shows here on the screen, Realtor.com, Google, Yahoo. Now, these players have all shuffled around. And if I was going to update this slide, I would update it for referring websites because we know that they're coming from all the majors. But once again, this just opens their eyes to where the action is. But when you hit the Jack Gone website, we have complete control, and you're featured there all day in this, in this particular manner. So as an owner, who do you want representing your property? Somebody that's simply scraping leads, or do you want those questions to come to me, the guy that most knows your listing? Well, the owners want it to come to you. They want accurate answers. I want them to come to me. So this answer is actually twofold, but where's the benefit for the seller? When a question comes in, it's going to be answered by the person most familiar with their particular home, and that's me. This makes my cell phone ring. We all understand lead router or in touch. It makes my cell phone ring. That's what I want. So within a minute, I can respond to a request. Instead of the two days, that is still the national average. But we know that the main referring sites aren't Jack Gone, but they're driving them to us. And if you don't have a Facebook presence, which you get to control, you'll find that Facebook is also one of our main referring sites on most of the reports I run. We go to Realtor.com, same information, same presence. We have a premium placement, and here I am, right branded on this particular site. We go to Zillow. So whether I show you the live site or an archived picture, I am branded to the Zillow site. Again, any inquiry will come to me. Now, we're paying for a number of things, and one is to suppress their other marketing programs, and Zillow is trying to sell you every day. They promote Jack on, and they feature me. Go to Trulia Oluk. Oh, a similar experience, again, we're promoting ourselves. Now, 
this is my listing presentation, guys. So when someone comes online, finds my listings, this is what they find. When they come online, Mr. Seller, and find your listing, they will find me. This is, uh, again, another level of demonstrating to your sellers that you're a tech-savvy agent, which is one of their top responses and what they're looking for when it comes to marketing their property. And you're getting the theme. This is going to recur and recur and recur. Uh, I do some other things that I build specially for my clients that you may or may not use. Um, we go to ERA. Again, uh, another branded site that I hope you're going in and updating these profiles. If you're not completing these profiles, you paid your 175, it still may not be effective. There are very specific fields that must match. The number one field will be your email address. So make sure that your email is accurate on every profile in every site. It's not difficult. It does require logging into each individual site and creating this. But let me explain to you the end game. You're getting phone calls all year long for a number of things. Subscribe to something for Zillow, Trulia, Yahoo, whatever it might be. You're getting phone calls from companies that will guarantee you top placement on Google. When someone Googles your area as an agent, Googles your name, we can get you top placement. Uh, no one is doing this for $175 a year. I like to um, spend as little money as possible. You know that my mantra is free. This one we can partially do for free, and partially we're going to do it with some dollars. But about this point in my, in my presentation, an owner will say, how will I know it's effective? Well, I'm going to send you a traffic report, and it's going to show you the sites that are effective and the views that we're receiving on your property. And I can send that out to you. It's automatically sent to me. I'll just forward it out on a Monday. Um, it's, another touch, it's another touch that you can make with your owners to stay current and in touch with them. They get to see the traffic. I like the individual reports, the graphs that come out these days. I think they're incredibly powerful. And for me, I get to tell you, do you see the trend? Your views are going up. Your views are diminishing. Uh, this is something that we need to stay on top of and address for them. So we get to show them all this rich engagement that we're going to have and how it's going to be focused and sent back to me. They've hired you for a reason. They've called you in for a reason. Demonstrate some of the reasons and the way you control your business because I get to control the inquiries and I get to control the presence and the responses that are going out there. Uh, maybe it's the way I say it, but people do like this one and they do um, they do hire you based on these on these reports. Reload guys, if you're not taking advantage of this, this can really set you apart from all the other reload people that are being called in. So leverage this tool. Take advantage of this tool. So let's say that you didn't have a listing as yet. Why would I want to do this now? Now, all the folks that come through my new agent training know that for about half the year, I'd say I wouldn't necessarily do it now until you have a listing. Well, right now you're going to save money for at least six months until you catch up to this pricing again. So it's spring. If you're ever going to have a listing this year, this is it. If you're looking for motivation to get out there and nail down a listing and prospect, spend some money. That gets me moving. Every time I put money on the table, I ran an ad, I want return. Here's one that will return to you. But you must go in and um, edit your profiles, guys, because if you're not, you're missing out on a lot of the benefit. The sign-in is right here, so you can sign in as an agent and tweak your profiles. Make sure that when you tweak them, when you tweak them, that you do something consistently. Because at the end of the day, my goal is to be found on Google. And uh, hey, it's spring, so happy spring. Google's entertaining us today. 
But did you ever search for yourself and see what your placement is going to be? Uh, I have a lot of competition with John Tice that was a, a professional football player. But if you're active in so many of these other programs, in your profile, do yourself a favor and bury your website as your jgr.com slash first name dot last name. Make sure that that is your referring website in all these profiles. Make sure that your picture is consistent so that uh, Google can start to match up all the dots. It's going to connect your image. It's going to connect your verbiage, your website. And what will happen is you're going to start to dominate the front page of Google without spending any money. Go in and edit your profiles. You're not sending a check to, um, to Google every month for pay-per-clicks and so forth. Your information will show up. Make sure that you're a Google Plus member because they own it. If you happen to do some, some videos, that will be important. But um, hey, my image is right here in the middle, my professional image. Amongst all the other John Tices, my Facebook presence is brought up here. My LinkedIn presence is brought up here. My Google Plus presence is brought up here. Probably on page two, there we go, you'll find my Twitter. You're going to find YouTube. Uh, I'm active in YouTube in a couple different uh, channels and different names, but it's certainly finding my most active, which is my uh, at home in Hershey, PA, which is also my Twitter handle. But I'm beating out John Tice that owns JohnTice.com on Google. And, um, and so I'm dominating the first page. I'm involved in other pages, and I'm doing it without spending any money other than my Fab Plus branding program, leveraging it properly by setting up your profiles properly, and then gravity takes over, and I don't go back and look at it. And where else would you want them to show up except your Jack Gone experience where they can now search? And this is another level of leveraging your Fab Plus purchase because if I get you back to the Jack Gone site that's branded to John Tice, where do those leads go? They all come to me also. So I take my listings very seriously. I want to control what they say, where they appear. I want to control where the questions go, where the leads go. And um, this is the easiest thing I've done is just simply, it will take you, you know, no kidding aside, maybe two hours to go through all the different profiles and get them right. But I did that years ago, and I haven't really revisited it, and it just keeps working, and it intensifies. The moment I start getting listings, they all become more active. The way Google works, it wants to see fresh look, change, and activity. And all these sites that I that I participate in have all that going on. Jack, go on. The information is constantly changing. My listings are coming and going. On all these other sites, that's happening. They're all wired together by referencing the same website. Google looks around and says, these are all busy sites. This is a busy guy. We're going to feature him, and it put me on the front page. Prior to tying all this together, I was on the fourth page. This will happen for you, too. Also, pay attention to your service areas. When you're setting up your profiles, what is your primary service area so that you raise the likelihood of being found, again, in those uh, Google searches or whatever else search level may run. You need to be there. You need to have your profiles match. Leverage those locations. So Hershey, 17033, all things that people are searching for. Maybe you're representing a new home community. I'm a new home sales manager at Carrie's Park, wherever you are. Make sure that's in your profile. Make sure you repeat it everywhere so that if someone searches for Carrie's Park, they find the community. They find me as the sales manager they find me attached to my listing. It all needs to gel. This isn't, I like this verbiage for this site and for this site and do something different over here and something different over there. Make sure they're consistent. 
the end game here is Google recognition. There is nothing you can do for this amount of money to get you on the front page of Google, whether it's the free stuff or the nominal 175. But it's going to last you a year. It's going to leverage your whole marketing program, and it's going to you know, give you something unique to talk about in that listing presentation. And guys, this wins all day long. If you have any doubt, um, especially the Relo folks, show up for our next training where we're going to dig into this in depth and um, go out and win some business. This spring, man, you need listings. Um, we all want listings. It's time to go win them. Here's another tool that's going to help you do that as the year goes on. And all we're doing is leveraging everything we have in place. Final word. If you don't have that listing yet, as Scott said, you need to be a listing agent. Go find one. How do you do that? Well, you get off your butt and get out in the world. How do you leverage some of these platforms? You can go to Trulia and search for questions under Trulia Voices and uh, be the local expert. Go on Facebook. Become the local expert. Share your profile information through Facebook. And again, be the local expert. Know the local topics. Know the local news. Flood insurance is in the map. If you're in the, in the news, if you're in an area that requires a lot of flood insurance, wouldn't it be fun to post what's happening with the state legislature right now? I guess it's national, uh, with the national or federal legislation regarding the national flood insurance. Do you know what's happening right now? Do you know where it is going through the? Uh, the approval process, and do you know what it's going to do to the rates to you locally? We're losing deals, guys, on flood insurance. Be the local voice. Know what's taking place. How about getting people to write their congressmen to promote flood legislation? That's what those guys respond to. There's a lot of ways for you to start a small movement. Social media does this every day and become a big voice. At the end of the day, it will benefit you. It will benefit your practice. It will put you on your map, uh, on the map locally, in this virtual space. And if you aren't paying attention to this, you are missing the boat. Ad revenues, every major company is piling on to the virtual space in huge numbers. These ad revenues are doubling year over year. You saw that in some of my previous WebExes. Everybody's gone mobile. Everyone's going mobile with ads. The spend is putting Facebook back on the map. They're marching forward at top speed. You need to be there. You don't really need to spend some big money, but you need to spend money strategically. And I'll tell you right now, a classified ad in your local weekly paper is not a strategic spend. Educate your sellers to where the strategy is. Execute it. Make it a value in their mind. Years ago, you guys sold our television program. You sold our weekly uh, book of active listings. Guys, this is your weekly book of active listings, except it's updated all day, every day, and your branding is right there on your information. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, I'm not out to spend money for anybody, but this is, as Scott said, the no-brainer. We do know that all of our top agents are active in this space. I don't think it's a matter of, oh, they can afford to do it. It's where the return is, guys. So pay attention, get on board, save some money, and find ways to leverage it, just like I've shown you in my listing presentation. Uh, you ever want to do a listing presentation with me or want me to go along with you? Call me. I can't be everywhere at one time, but I would be happy to coach you through this. Uh, my latest fan called me the other day. Uh, I didn't tell her I'm using her name, but I will. Ask Joni Lombardi from Colonial Park what she did this week to outlist uh, two other agents, one of them that had sold the owner their home on a relocation referral, and she went in and closed them hard. And I'll let her tell you the rest. But um, she took one of my ideas, largely because she didn't have a lot of choice and didn't have a lot of time, and thought, oh, what the heck. 
and went out and closed them and won the business. Properties being shown. When I spoke with her the other day, she thought she might have an offer in under a week. Um, go be the pro in the room and um, demonstrate that you're tech savvy, and I'm going to let it at that. Show up for my training coming up with Relo, and um, let's go with some business. We need some listings. You want a listing. It helps you reach your goal, and it allows you to um, have a little more control of this business in your life. Get a listing. That's your inventory. That's what you need in your store, and build your store. This is John Tice. Thanks for tuning in, and um, let's go get them. Let's go win some business, guys. Have a great week. Uh, for those of you that are heading to um, that are heading off to LA to the IBC, we're all going to be back here listing business while you're away. So I hope the weather's nice for you to have some fun. Um, we're out to win. Have a great week.